Welcome back. And with us live over the phone now is Dr. Meg Jalem. He's advisor to the Global Climate Program and the Environmental Facility. Good morning, Dr. Alem. Good morning. Uh, if you'd like to uh, collaborate over uh, the, this uh, uh, guidance of the new Urban Communities Authority uh, that is uh, orchestrating uh, um, an event or an initiative, rather, uh, that joins Cairo and Alexandria as a member of the leading Green Cities program of the European Bank for Reconstruction and New Development. It's actually a, a new intervention being done by the government of uh, Egypt and actually approved by the CEO of the European Bank also for the reconstruction, which actually uh, uh, after the visits of uh, Excellency, the CEO of the European Bank, it's very important uh, and turning point that we have uh, Cairo, Alexandria, and the new settlements, especially of the other settlements related to the new settlements of uh, the, the Ministry of Urbanization. So actually, the bank actually is a leading banking system all over the, uh, many of the countries, especially with the European countries, and the uh, share of the uh, related authorities being done with the technical cooperation Fund uh, of Taiwan Business, also the Ben Bank for Reconstruction, the uh, Ministry of, uh, of the uh, Austria, also as a financial ministry of Austria, as sharing in a fund of uh, renewable of cities and uh, keeping the ecological system, which is actually being managed nowadays by CREATE the bank as abbreviation of the European Bank for the uh, Construction and Development, also as a basic uh, funding for the new plans of the cities program, the Green Cities of, in, uh, in Egypt, which is actually a turning point in the urbanization of the Egyptian uh, government. Uh, I remember my short of the Minister of International Cooperation, actually the Excellency, starting also the back way a new green future in our city and the government of Egypt nowadays is starting the way to have more infrastructure including all the infrastructure related to the local cities and also resilient approaches with the urbanization as needed by the sustainability and the reduction of the CO. The reduction of CO is now a global uh, achievement I think and all of the partners would like to reduce the carbon dioxide and the uh, sulfur dioxide and also the nitrous and the nitrogen because they are keeping more greenhouse effect on the uh, cultivation areas and also on our organization. We, the partnership with the European Banking also for reconstruction and development in their pilot program for the urbanization sustainability on those countries and on those cities is a module of regional development of uh, future cities. It's actually uh, yeah, giving a new green era for the urbanization and safe for the new future and generations. It's a part of the sustainable development goals that are being signatory by His Excellency, uh, the, the President of Egypt, and in, in his attendance to the UN is actually sharing in the high level of sustainability uh, development. It's also the, the other program of the Green Cities program uh, related to the European Bank for the reconstruction and development uh, of uh, funds up to 2.5 million uh, euro is another funding agency also for the sustainability and the investment in the infrastructure, especially in the urban cities, the small cities also, and in addition to the grand cities also. There is more greening approaches, more reduction of GHG, more greening of cultivation, more adding for afforestation and the green belts all over 
the city because the city nowadays, as we know, and the new settlement city has been done in the 27 cities of uh, urban Egypt is a module, is a, a successful module for more greening of all the aspects and the reduction of the greenhouse gases up to the reduction of uh, maybe 32 or maybe the two-thirds of the greenhouse gases in the city, which is nowadays the challenge all over the world. No one can escape of this. It is not separated because we have one sky and we have one uh, surface water all over the, the globe, and you have also one cultivation for the nectar, uh, the nectar including the nutrition and also the uh, energy in addition to the water, which is actually the triangle of nexus and the nexus of the life. Nowadays, we are sharing to the Egyptian government and the authorities of the urbanization to improve more in Cairo and Alexandria, in addition to 6 October also. So a good module of this is the metro station line that nowadays being planned for the, the Alexandria city in Abu Kir and also in the eastern part of Alexandria, just to reduce the overcrowded of Alexandria of the small areas. Nowadays, we are expanding the Alexandria to have maybe triple, not only the double, the, cities of, the city of Alexandria till now. Also, the urbanization authorities, which has the representing of the, uh, at least four among the ten uh, Egyptian will be involved in the cities and also as far as the urbanization including in, the, in Cairo, also up to maybe we have in Egypt uh, to reach 100 million uh, population as 2% two, uh, two per year, which is actually increase in population uh, ratio that will affect the uh, sites being selected by the Ministry of Urbanization of the development strategies as have urban cities, new urban cities, and redistribution of the existing of overpopulation is actually to get rid of our, our so the Nile River uh, and banking as we are, the Egyptians are up to 70% only of the total area of the Egyptian uh, million uh, yeah, meter square. Nowadays, we are located only in the, this line of the Nile River. Nowadays, those approaches and this also two and maybe the three agreements will have more expansion of the uh, settlement to include a lot of the uh, desert areas which is not used up till now. And so also the authority of the urbanization, in addition with the infrastructure and facilities in the new cities, will have the uh, memorandum of understanding that being already signatory in uh, Cairo uh, in actually 6 October with the European Bank for Reconstruction and also to reveal more cooperation areas for infrastructure and their uh, green urbanization and green infrastructure in other cities as far as it is uh, uh, under the umbrella of the new settlement. Uh, the 6th October also uh, city is a module now for the other uh, green cities, so we are actually in the new round of understanding the signatory for the 46 members for Egypt to share in this. Also, Egypt is one of the establishers of the European Bank for the reconstruction of urbanization and development since uh, 2012. The European Investment Bank already for reconstruction and development sharing up to 7.2 .2 billion euro in, one, uh, in 127 projects all over the Egyptian uh, right. and the Right. Uh, of course, a new government has been formed uh, earlier, and 
on top of the first priorities uh, for uh, this government and according to the directives of the Egyptian administration uh, conver is converting the new cities into green cities and also promoting uh, green hydrogen uh, are one of the most important files that they are going to be working on it apart from anything else. Also, of course, green cities, uh, green sustainable cities are going to be a role model uh, for all the neighboring countries. And this is going to be the task of the new government. So uh, uh, if you'd like to elaborate over this and you g give us your insight of how is this going to happen uh, by the different ministries inside this new government. Actually, Egypt already started uh, to use the, uh, the greenhouse uh, yeah, new trend of the energy. Nowadays, we, are, we have the blue and we have also this blue system of the uh, division of the uh, hydrogen from oxygen and using the hydrogen nowadays the green hydrogen the green hydrogen is our new energy of egypt and egypt nowadays have three contracts with Suez canal authority to keep the more development of the green hydrogen green hydrogen is the new trend of energy all over the world and it is the pilot of the new and renewable energy sources, zero uh, carbon dioxide, zero emissions. It's completely clean for the first time. And nowadays, the, uh, the Suez Canal Authority already have a signatory of four major companies to split the water into two, uh, two items. One of them is for the energy, which is the green energy, and sometimes we have it as blue energy. Those are completely clean energy, no emissions, no carbons, no sulfurs, no uh, hydrofluorofluorocarbon, no biofluorocarbon. It's completely green energy to be the, the first time all over the region that Egypt is leading the transfer of the traditional fossil fuels as petrol or uh, diesel or uh, kerosene or even biogas nowadays we are shifting for the green energy which is actually a first degree all over the country that is starting this ambitious program to have the green era real green era all over the country Right. Uh, on this note, of course, uh, uh, Dr. Uh, Magdi Alem uh, would like to thank you so much for uh, talking to us on the British uh, uh, show. And, uh, of course, you are uh, an advisor to the Global Climate Program and Environmental Facility. Thank you so much, and you have a good day. And by this, we come to the end of this edition of the British show. Many thanks to all of you until we see you again tomorrow morning. That's a goodbye.